Hello, Star Screen back for another review. Yet again, two in one down, kneeling on the cable. That's not good. Let's see if we can keep this one together in a little bit more succinct, shall we? Uh, it's nothing to do with you, it's me. Um, I thought I'd do Blitzwing because there's not... Well, I, I don't think there's a lot of the triple changes done. I think Blitzwing's probably one of my favourites. And here is the culprit. A very nice G1 figure. Um, so I was just looking at the light. I really like Blitzwing. Um, I do, do a little bit of the background. He's more significant, possibly, than a lot of people give him credit for. Um, he arrives in the, uh, I think it's season two of Transformers. Uh, he's one of the first uh, triple changes along with Astro Train. As regards standing out on season two, uh, he, he doesn't really t uh, take much of note. Well, he's not much note here, other than one specific episode where him, Starscream, and Astro Train uh, try to take over from. I'm think I'm moving. Um, hello? It's either me moving or the camera. No, it's the camera. Yeah, they tried to take over from Megatron uh, with the aid of Starscream and I said Astro Train. Um, this inevitably fails and obviously Megatron gives them a damn good kicking. And he said, don't let that happen again. And as we, as we take it for granted, from then on, he's a subservient, I don't know, minion to Megatron's plans. He's in the movie. He narrowly he's, he's in a battle. I think it was with Cup. Cup gets him to shoot one of the Insecticons. Not one of his better strategies, but there you go. And he also narrowly avoids getting blasted to pieces by Optimus Prime and his death run, which he does later on in the. And as we know, it's it's a final run Optimus Prime ever does till he returns again. So that was pretty good. Uh, then he's in season three. Now it's more significant what happens in season three. Uh, the Quintessons come to the Decepticons, they're smashed to pieces, they've got no energy on, they've got really no hope. They promise them all the energy on they want if they follow them to conquer the evil Autobots, well, they know they're not evil Autobots, just to conquer the Autobots so that they can get their energy on. Okay, so that that's the premise of what's happening. Astro Chain says, no, I don't really want it to go along with you, I'll, I'll wait for this uh, Scourge and Cyclonus and Sweeps to return with uh, Galvatron because he's going to lead us. So most of the Decepticons go with the Quintessons. He stays behind and tells Galvatron what's going on. Galvatron's very pleased at this point with him. He says, you are very loyal and blah, blah, blah. So he goes off with Galvatron. Then Galvatron makes a truce with the Quintessons to destroy the Autobots. And um, whilst they're in a battle, Galvatron tells Blitzwing, go back and just relay what's happening to the Quintessons. Let them know how we're doing. He goes back and finds out it's actually a double plot by the Quintessons to actually destroy not only the Autobots, but the Decepticons as well. He then goes back to Galvatron to tell him what's going on. Galvatron obviously doesn't believe him and says that you're trying to stop me from doing my plan, get out of the way. He doesn't. He disobeys a direct order from Galvatron and Galvatron in turn, this is just a simplified version of what's going on because I'm trying to get everything done in the time, okay? Galvatron says you'll never be welcome back in my ranks again. So he he walks off, and the Autobots say, well, do you, well, considering you've got nowhere to go, do you want to remain with us? And he says, no. You'll see him later on in Season 3, in the background, but it's something wrong there. That's an animator's discrepancy. He shouldn't be there. Um, also, I think it's Starscream's Ghost, or the return of Starscream... No, not... Yeah, Starscream's Ghost, I think it was, where we have Octane, uh, a new triple changer, was apparently rip written for him. Okay, but they quickly changed it because they wanted it, uh, well, to sell their new toy, their latest triple changer Octane. So there we go. There's a little bit of background character for the toy. I like the toy a lot. Now, as I said, he's a triple changer, so that means he's got not one, not two. Here we go, my friends. It's free. Off camera. Free. Free modes for the price of one. And I'm going to try to transform them, okay, on camera. So here we go. Fists up. This is robot mode, by the way, first and foremost. Hands in. I prefer, he's one of my favourite triple changes, this chap. Wings in. Legs up. Arms down. I think they're arms, anyway. Arms down. Swipe that boards. Off camera. Professionally done. Not picking in, I don't know why. And rotate turret. Blitzwing in tank mode. Excellent toy. It's actually a really good tank. Blow the crap out of Warpath, I can tell you. Now, I'm going to try for the 
I've gone green again! Hey! I knew that was going to come. I suppose better now than later. Watch out for a lot of these have got the turret missing, okay? Rotate the jet bit. Landing gear down, apparently. I didn't ask for it, but it's down. Fold these bits back out again. These are his doors. Stuck. Rotate this back round. Keep this up, the belly under here. And I think we push these little wing bits back. I should have done this first, actually. Ah! He's old, this one. There we go, look. Wings back down, which are actually his feet, as we saw earlier. And there we go. Not a bad looking jet. It's not brilliant, but considering it's done three modes, I think that's pretty impressive, isn't it? He doesn't look too far from the Seeker jets. So there we go. Blitzwing in jet mode. An excellent little toy. It's so neatly compact. And th the three modes aren't brilliant, but they're not bad. The robot mode, okay, Grant, you looks a bit spoony is all I can say and he's got funny little arms which don't extend very fast but fast fast far but considering you get transformers with only two transformations and they're not a lot better I think we can give the chap a break can't we well I'm going to anyway and there's an e-hobbies exclusive now I'm sorry I can't remember the name of the toy well I know it's Blitzwing but they done a rehash of him and a recolored one he's still a Decepticon they haven't turned him into some Autobot or anything but here he is, as you can see, the light's not doing it much justice. If I just... I don't know if that's any better or not. God, I've got to get this sorted. He's, uh, he's green, actually. Green and white. Now, somebody can post at the bottom the name of this guy, because I can't for the life of me remember. There we go, look. That's just a little indication. Look, you will pay too much for him, so don't bother. He's just essentially the same toy as the other one. They do have little missiles as well, which pop in just around here. But I, I left them in the box for the e-hobbies one, and I've never had them for this one ever anyway. As I said, it's a great toy with a lot more character than I think it's given credit for. But if you look along for those episodes, Five Faces of Darkness, is it, I think it's Starscream's Ghost. Um, and yeah, he's in a, he's in a bit of a nice, or triple takeover, the episode is, where they all try and overtake Megatron. It's a great episode, so look out for that one. Anyway, I hope that was some hope. Hope! Well, it could be some hope that I'd do a better review, but I hope that was some help for the time being if you're trying to identify the toy you're looking out for it. Anyway, that's Starscream with his second review of the day. Signing out. See you all out there, and take care.